newyork.com. New information in a water throwing incident aimed at the police. The NYPD released pictures of three men they want to question. In addition to water, a police officer was hit with a bucket, and the department is questioning how the officers responded. CBC New York's Valerie Castro joins us from One Police Plaza. Valerie. And Dick, police say the officer that was hit with the bucket did sustain some minor injuries to his head. Tonight, some city leaders say there are more people at fault than just the suspects in those videos. <laughs> they violated them! Taking the high road or turning their backs on their duty as police officers? Video posted to social media of NYPD officers being doused with buckets of water as they responded to a disturbance call in Brooklyn over the weekend has brought them both praise and criticism. In this incident, officers trying to arrest a man in Harlem are splashed and then hit with a flying bucket. We have to have zero tolerance for violence against the men and women of the NYPD. City Council members spoke out in support of the officers Tuesday, calling on the suspects whose pictures were released by police to be arrested and prosecuted. The law is there, by the way. This is assault. We're seeing the district attorneys not enforcing it and they need to enforce the law. The Police Benevolent Association released a statement calling for stronger laws and says, quote, at a minimum, there should be a felony charge for assaulting a police officer. But top NYPD brass criticized the officers for the way they handled themselves. And any cop who thinks that that's all right, that they can walk away from something like that, maybe should reconsider whether or not this is the profession for them. Other blame game contestants include former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani, who called out Mayor de Blasio on Fox News. Actually, it wouldn't happen if we didn't have a progressive, retrogressive, completely lazy mayor in New York City who is absolutely destroying the quality of life in this city. City Council members echoed that sentiment. He and his dangerous rhetoric is to blame for some of these antics. Literally, antics on the subways and in the streets of New York City. The mayor tweeted, the truth is crime has never been lower in New York City, and that's because we're bridging the divide between police and communities, a divide Rudy Giuliani helped create. And the Police Benevolent Association has not responded to that criticism of the officers involved. The NYPD issued a memo to officers in the department saying the suspect should have been identified and arrested in both incidents, and at a minimum, a supervisor should have been called in. Reporting live outside police headquarters, Valerie Castro, CBSN, New York. Valerie, thank you.